Hey everyone, it's me, Terry O, and March is National Craft Month, and you know what the big trend this year is? Fashion crafting. We have to talk about some of the spectacular products that are out there and available for you to do some of your own creations. You know, with Project Runway out there, we're all getting ready to get into designing our own clothing. So let's start with repurposing. Huge trend out there. Everybody's doing it. Now, this bag was designed by Duncan, and what they did is they took an old bag that probably was ready for the landfill, added some felt to it, and then glued on some appliques using their Aileen's Fabric Fusion Glue. This is a great glue for gluing fabric on fabric. I guarantee you, once you glue it, it's not coming off. Trust me on that one. Okay, so repurposing is, is like, like I said, all the rage. And here's what I did. I took, I took some pieces of jewelry that I had and I reused them and I turned them into another necklace. I soldered the sides. I put two pieces of glass together using the Simply Swank soldering kit and then took some different pieces and, and soldered them all together and made a brand new necklace. How about these boots? Gotta love them. These boots are totally made for walking. I'm telling you, they are to die for. This comes from a couple of gals from a company out of Australia who designs, of all things, rubber stamps. And I have to tell you, they're really unusual stamps. Some of the mo most interesting stamps that I've seen in a while. And um, they're called Stamp It, and they're from Australia. And they use the stamps to create this design on the boots. While Deco Art use their very own fabric paint to create stamps on these cowboy boots. And it's the so soft paint. And what's great about this paint, as you know, is that it is something that you can use on fabric and it stays pliable. Therefore, you could also use it on things like leather and things that move a lot, and then the paint's not going to chip and fall off. So that's Deco Art So Soft Paint. Now, Musables is a new company that came up with an awesome kit that helps you design your own yarn designs, whether it's a scarf or a table cover. And what they do is they take their yarns and lay them out on, look at this, this is just pieces of plastic. A lot of quilters are familiar with this, but they're using it in a different way. You sew them together and you dissolve it in water and you end up with an already made piece of I, I do call it art, but it's just it's a, it's a fashion that's to die for, using different yarns and threads. Jewelry making very hot. Love this belt. The beatery put this belt together, saw a picture of Hannah Montana wearing a belt similar to this, and thought, how adorable is that? And it's so simple. So it's all about taking cording and beads and simply stringing them through. No tools are required. Nothing special is required. It's a series of knots. And very, very simple to do. While well, Judikins has the Patera pendant, which we're all familiar with, this P Patera pendant, it's basically a tray. It looks like this. It comes in different shapes. I have actually a bracelet on that's a Patera pendant. And it comes in different colors as well and then allows you to put things in it. Like we're going to put a photograph in here and then covering it with the diamond glaze, you can create a really adorable pendant that has your own design inside of it, okay? Now, again, Tulip has different paints and they also have different uh, iron-ons, which are really hot. You know, we're all into the, you know, the rock and roll, the skull and crossbones. So they come up, uh, came up with a pretty cute line of patches and iron-ons that are very simple, even stencils that you can use for your clothing. They also have the different paints, the different tulip paints and, and um, colors, different metallic colors. And Krynik has the iron-on threads, which are pretty cool to use along with your jeans and along with the embellishments that come with Candy Corp has the uh, rhinestone applicator that will allow you to create different designs on your jeans. Now, so you're looking for inspiration? How about this? You have the whole series of Four Dummies books. So now you can do jewelry making and beading. You can do reconstructing clothing for dummies. So, so simple to do. Now, I like to talk about tools a lot because tools are really helpful when you want to create some of your designs. Simply Swank put together a really cool kit with a soldering tool to make jewelry. And then Candy Corp here has the embellished, the rhinestone applicator here. And then Walnut Hollow has a wood burning tool. And what are you going to do with a wood burning tool? You might be asking yourself. Well, you know what? You know what Wal Walnut Hollow did with it? They burned designs onto denim, and it's absolutely adorable. So you can trace on the denim, and then use your tool to burn a design into it. And right next to it, Candy Corp went ahead. This is what the designs look like with the jewel applicator and some of the heat fix 
um, rhinestones and metal studs and things like that that are really, really fun. And then last but not least, we have our mannequin over there wearing a this adorable skirt that a 16 year old girl designed. She used Expo International appliques, her favorite jean skirt, and some of her dad's old ties. And she created this really awesome design that's really one of a kind. And that's it. that's what it's about. You being individual and all about things that you love. Now you want some more inspiration? Just go to craftplace.org, log on, find out stores that are participating, how you can get in on the action. And also my website's on there, onlinewithterio.com. I have how-to webisodes. I'll walk you through step by step. I guarantee you will be inspired.